Right, so we have new details on the iPhone 14 series, we have details on components, seeing a massive price hike, but also the brightness of the new displays on these new iPhones. And so let's dive into it guys, but first make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumours, and with that being said, let's just talk in. So a report from ET News tells us that the front facing camera on the iPhone 14 series is going to be three times more expensive to produce. Now you may be wondering what's the reason behind this? Well the first reason is of course the sensors are seeing massive upgrades. This will be the first upgrade the selfie camera is getting since the iPhone 11 series and essentially we're going to see autofocus but also a wide f1.9 aperture on the front. And so I'm sure the new sensor with these changes is going to increase the price. However, ET News says the main reason behind the price hike is actually due to Apple ditching Chinese manufacturers and going to Korean suppliers for the selfie camera instead. Allegedly, Apple's had issues with the quality of the sensors from Chinese suppliers, and so now they're moving to these more credible suppliers like LG Inatech. And so yeah, LG and also Japan's Sharp are going to produce the selfie cameras for the iPhone 14 series. And so since they're going to more credible suppliers and also reclassifying these components as high-end, that does mean they're going to see a price hike specifically three times more expensive than the iPhone 13 sensors. And yes, I'm pretty sure the higher cost is going to be passed on to us through higher prices. And to be honest, we've been hearing about higher prices for a while now since the iPhone 14 Pro series is getting a massive change on the front with the new dual hole punch design. So that coupled with the component price hikes does mean at least the Pro models are going to be $100 more expensive. Though since Quo in a previous report did say the sensor upgrades are coming to the regular iPhone 14 models as well that does get me worried whether we're going to see a price hike with the base versions. And that would be a very tough pill to swallow because the regular 6.1 inch iPhone 14 especially is going to be so similar to the iPhone 13 and so asking consumers to pay a higher price for a very similar product is gonna be a tough sell. So yes, I'm praying the 14 and the 14 Max stays at 799 and 899 and only the pros see a price hike. And yeah, by the way, I'm pretty sure about the pros seeing a price hike since research did find out the iPhone 13 Pro series was more expensive to make, but Apple kept the prices the same and so for Apple to do that again with the iPhone 14 series with even more changes is really unlikely. But also the iPhone SE that we all thought was going to get cheaper got more expensive and so yes guys, do expect price hikes to come to some of the iPhone 14 models. Anyways, enough of the bad news, let's move on to some good news regarding the iPhone 14 series and that's regarding brighter displays coming to these models. So Isaac, a relatively new source, so do take this with a grain of salt, but he tells us with the regular iPhone 14 models, we're going to see a thousand nits of peak brightness and then 1200 for HDR content. So yeah, basically on par with the 13 Pros right now, but of course, the 14 Pros are going to go one step further and give us 1200 nits of peak brightness and then maybe 1600 nits for HDR content. Now I believe that's basically on par with Samsung's flagships and so yeah, these are going to be very bright displays. And I know some of you guys might be wondering what's the point in giving us extreme brightness. Well, of course, in daylight, having a super bright display is going to be appreciated. And so I do very much want Apple to give us brighter panels with their new iPhones. So yeah, those are the tidbits. But tell me in the comments below, guys, how do you see the pricing structure working for the iPhone 14 series? Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the link above on details regarding the M2 iPad Pro. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.